Hi, I'm Scott Snedden from Juniper Networks. Now, Juniper Networks is all about engineering simplicity. And along that path, we've been working on a five-step process to talk about your evolution and your path to a secure and automated multi-cloud. And so on this path to multi-cloud, we have five steps that we've laid out that are conversation starters, that are ways to look at your processes and see what we can optimize and make a little simpler. Step one is we're gonna look at your Brownfield data center and we're gonna think about the network architectures that might be there. Maybe there's some things we can do together to implement things like IP fabric, CLOS fabrics, simplified data center architectures. From here, we're gonna talk about automation in step two, the automated data center. Here we start to talk about maybe managing things as a fabric, workload automation, and starting to bring in some DevOps to NetOps and security ops bridges and, and tying those processes together. Uh, think about how we're securing the network in a different way. Um, start to think about security policy as an automated process along with the DevOps workflow. In step three, we start to think about the multi-domain data center. And this is the idea of thinking about your data center and your public cloud presence and probably your workload orchestration layers as one cohesive unit. You know, we'll look at your Amazon, your Azure, your Google Compute Cloud presence. We'll start to think about overlay networks and starting to tie things together using stuff like SDN. Um, we'll think about closed loop automation processes and how your workload automation deployments tie into network policy and start to create networks on demand. At this step, we actually really start to see some savings around cost and improving time to market and scaling resources more quickly. Step four, we actually start to address the entire infrastructure as more of a dynamic cloud. This is where we get into things like IT as a service and just delivering services to your end users on demand, maybe through some self-service portal. So you know, here we're thinking about virtualizing the network, possibly deploying virtualized firewalls, using SDN solutions like Contrail to create overlay tunnels within and between data centers. And also really key at this layer is that we're starting to visualize leveraging analytics tools like AppFormix to better understand what's happening on the network and in the infrastructure at any given time. Now here we really start to see some benefits around the reduction of IT staff required to complete a process. We're saving on IT infrastructure because the resources are a bit more fungible and shareable. And you know, the effort to manage security policies can be greatly improved through automation. And then finally, at step five, we are getting into this nirvana of secure and automated multi-cloud. Here we're talking about leashed policy or tethered policy, where a network policy and a security policy is associated with the application itself. So when apps are deployed, the policy and the network topology follows that application. We get in a multi-fabric automated life cycle, managing the entire network from end to end as a single fabric. This is really where we see the greatest gains in efficiency, in reducing IT effort, and improving the ap application lifecycle significantly. Throughout all of this, we're looking at the people and the processes, not just the technology. Networking is very important to this, but the network infrastructure itself is secondary to how I use that infrastructure. And so the people, the teams, how the DevOps teams and the network teams and the security teams are working together with common tooling, common API, common processes is key through all of this. Ultimately, this leads us to this goal of a secure and automated and simple multi-cloud environment. Thank you.